We heard some very moving presentations at the close party group we've just left on visual impairment. Can I ask you, is there something that particularly struck you from the presentations we heard this afternoon? Well, I think what we heard is that there is some excellent support out there, um, particularly from the RNIB. That was set out very clearly. It was certainly from Kieran's experience, uh, incidentally, a very difficult thing for anyone to do to talk about their own experience in uh, such a way. So it was uh, all credit to her that she was willing to do so. Uh, but her experience told of uh, one that, yes, she could eventually get the support she required, but the journey uh, to do so was far too complicated. So as a reminder, as a society, we've still some way to go to make sure that we can have as smooth a transition and as clean a pathway into getting the support a person with visual impairment or sight loss uh, requires that that in, in place properly. Okay. One of the main perceptions we know is employer misperceptions about what people with sight loss can and can't do. Is there any way you think we can somehow help overcome that, educate employers more? Well, I think that's the very word. It is about education. It's about ensuring that where there are uh, misconceptions, misunderstandings that we, we seek to engage employers uh, and uh, explain why they are uh, misfounded. Uh, you know, I, I'll speak to employers and they will tell you that they want to do the right thing, they want to be involved in ensuring uh, that they have a, a diverse uh, workforce uh, and ultimately that's good for any employer to have uh, that diverse workforce. Uh, sometimes though there are those lingering misperceptions and what we need to do is engage with uh, employers so that they, they can understand why they are misplaced. Sure. The Scottish Government now has more discretion over training programmes for people unemployed, people looking for work, including people with various disabilities. Can we somehow make the training programmes in Scotland a bit better attuned to the needs of people with sight loss and other disabilities? Well, one of the things we've done now is taking advantage of having uh, statutory responsibility for what had been DWP employment programmes. We've now got our uh, distinctively Scottish devolved employment programme, Fair Start Scotland, uh, up and running. That's operating in a, a, a number of ways uh, very differently from what went before. Uh, prime amongst them uh, being uh, that uh, no one is compelled to take part in an employment programme by comparison to that which went before some of the DWP programmes compelled people to take a part. But I recognise we need to, it needs to be much more than that to, to be as uh, cohesive and effective uh, a programme for people around their individual uh, needs. And that's at its heart of Fair Start Scotland, is to ensure that each person who requires assistance is treated as an individual in recognition of the fact that uh, no one person has the same barriers as the next person, no one person has the, uh, the, 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 the same challenges as the next person, and indeed people might face uh, a multiple range of barriers to getting into employment. Yeah. So one of the things we heard very clearly uh, there was making sure that uh, services can engage uh, people on a face-to-face -face basis, actually interacting with people. So that again is uh, writ through uh, in Fair Start Scotland. If a person needs that face-to-face -face engagement, then they will have it. And if they uh, require it, then it has to be in a setting that's familiar to them, that is, is convenient for them. They don't then have to travel to the service. The service will travel to them. So I think people with uh, sight loss can benefit by that, but indeed I think everyone participating in Fair Start Scotland can benefit by the approach we're taking. Okay. Finally, and related to that, of course, the Scottish Government now has more discretion over a number of key benefits um, that relate to employment, disability benefits. How do you think we, I know it's early days yet, but how do you think we can get those benefits more in tune with the new approach to helping people with disabilities find work? Well, I, I suppose one of the things that we I think do better than the UK government is we actually engage with people and hear their experience so that can inform our policy. So I know that uh, that's been the hallmark of our approach to developing our own distinct social security uh, agenda. Um, there's going to be the experience panels that are set up so people with real life experience can inform our social security system. So much as we have developed an employment programme with dignity and respect at its heart, we're doing the same with uh, our uh, devolved social security system as well uh, when we have that full control over the, the wide range of disability related benefits that are, are becoming uh, the responsibility of the Scottish Government. Thank you very much. Pleasure.